Defense News in a Nutshell, your fortnightly guide to all that's happening in MINDEF and the SAF in under five minutes. Here's what happened from the 18th to the 31st of July. Behind the glitz and glamour of the National Day Parade or NDP are the countless hours of hard work put in by the NDP participants. Minister for Defence Dr Ng Eng Hen visited the NDP participants and thanked them for their unwavering commitment and determination to put up a good show for all Singaporeans on National Day. Among the NDP participants are 150 special needs participants from seven voluntary welfare organisations who will be performing during the song signing segment. All the participants have given their very best put up a show that we can all celebrate together. So uh, I'm looking forward to a good show. I want to thank all of them for putting their heart and soul into it. With regard to the threat of terrorism, Dr Ong said that measures have been put in place, but members of the public must remain alert. Terror threats can occur anywhere, not only in crowded places, not only in public functions. Let each of us be alert and let's carry on with life. That is, I think, the most robust and resilient way to say that we will not allow terrorists to disrupt our way of life. A record number of 47 MINDEF SAF scholarships were presented at a ceremony held at the Astana. This includes an unprecedented 20 female recipients. This year also marked the launch of the SAF Engineering Scholarship for future leaders of the Military Expert Corps. So in this career that you have chosen, it is given that you will keep up with the challenges that the SAF face. And as a leader, you must discern what people need to know, what to train them for, how to motivate them so that when called, your unit can fulfil what Singaporeans justifiably expect of you. I'm very privileged to, to be given this opportunity to serve and it's really what my passion is at. I believe that it will just spur me on to continue to do my best, um, to be an example and role model for the few batches down. At a separate ceremony held at Swizzatel de Stamford, the Defence Science and Technology Agency DSO National Laboratory Scholarship was awarded to 88 recipients for junior college, undergraduate and postgraduate studies. We need a strong core of defence engineers and scientists to understand the cutting-edge technologies and how these technologies can be used against us or as a tool for us. Dr Ng also announced the setting up of a new National Engineering Programme Centre in DSTA. The centre is set to work alongside other public agencies in the development of engineering solutions. One of the most challenging yet the most fulfilling aspect of the course for me was learning how to lead. It was about bringing out the best of everyone so that everyone can come together and contribute and leverage on each other's expertise so that together we can grow and develop and uh, transition into senior military experts that we are today. Military Expert 4 Lloyd Chua was among the 121 newly minted senior military experts appointed at the Senior Military Expert Appointment Ceremony held at the Safti Military Institute. With their leadership skills and deep expertise in various military domains such as intelligence, engineering and medicine, these military experts will ensure that the SAF's fighting edge remains sharp. To go far, you must be prepared to go deep and hence the strategic importance of the Military Experts Corps. It is a strategic capability that enables the SAF to see further, learn faster and integrate its systems better. The newly appointed senior military experts will move on to assume command or staff appointments in their fields of specialisation. Boosting support for national service through the We Support You in NS initiative and collaborating with Families for Life to raise awareness on defence matters, these are some of the initiatives launched by the Advisory Council on Community Relations in Defence, or ACCORD, over the past two years. At the ACCORD Appreciation and Appointment Function, Chairman of ACCORD and Senior Minister of State for Defence, Dr. Mohammed Maliki bin Osman, thanked the ACCORD members for strengthening public support for national service and contributing to national defence. We are strong only because Singaporeans believe that Singapore is worth defending and that everyone has a part to play in building a strong defence. Dr Maliki also presented letters of appreciation and appointment to the outgoing and incoming members of Accord. A new council will serve for two years starting from the 25th of August. For more details on these stories, visit mindef.gov.sg. Now let's check out what's buzzing on our social media channels.
Still feeling nostalgic about the vintage parade at last year's National Day Parade? The 50 SAF pioneers from that marching contingent have launched a commemorative photo book that details their experiences preparing for the vintage parade as well as their careers in the SAF. Check out Cyber Pioneer's Facebook page to find out more. Well, that's our defense news in a nutshell. Get to know us more through one of our social media channels. This is Charmaine for Power 98, signing off.